Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've walked from Mount Edgecombe to King Sankor Sand. Our walk today is taken from Classic Walks Cornwall. It's number 60, the last one in the book, Mount Edgecombe and Cor Sand Bay. To help us grow our channel, please subscribe. So you join us today, we are in Kremel. We're going to walk through the Mount Edgecombe Park. It's actually a beautiful formal garden in there as well. We might explore that a little bit. Over to King Sand. It's a six mile walk, so we need to get going. So we've parked here today at the Kremel Car Park. It's four pounds for over four hours. Nice big car park, plenty of spaces. Kremel is on the edge of Cornwall in the southeast corner. So the instructions tell us to walk towards the sea. Did you bring my passport? <laughs> yeah. We're at the edge of Cornwall, Andrew. Can't get further up, can we? No, that's Devon. Plymouth over there. They don't know how to do a scone and cream tea over there. Well, they do, they just get it wrong. <laughs> Jam first. Our instructions say to walk towards Mount Edgecombe House and the Orangery Restaurant. Isn't that beautiful? Let's take a look at the fountain. The great thing about these gardens, they're free and you can go and have a cup of coffee in the Orangery. It's the orangery, is it? Yeah, fantastic building, isn't it? Look at that. It's not orange, though, is it? Why is it called the orangery? <laughs> it's where they used to grow oranges. Well, they couldn't be bothered to go to the supermarket. Oh. <laughs> so we're going between these really tall hedges. I reckon they're laurel. Or bay. Perhaps they're bay trees. Anyway, we go this way. So Mount Edgecombe Estate is a large estate. It's got a deer park, but it's also got lots of follies. One of the lords and ladies that owned it some time ago, they liked building little follies. A beautiful folly, somewhere to sit and stare. I don't think when this folly was built, you had a view of the dockyard and the tower blocks. One of which is a memorial, an obelisk, to a pet pig called Cupid, which has been moved into Kremel. So when we come back that way, we'll be looking for an obelisk to her favourite pet pig, Cupid. <laughs> oh, now this looks interesting. Looks like some sort of defence battery from years ago, doesn't it? Look at that brick chamber vaulted roof. Oh yeah, cannon. Definitely for defence, isn't it? I think this is a little battery house. Look at the stone surround on that doorway entrance. Do you think you want to be in the video? following the southwest coast path which hugs around the headland going that way the national camellia collection well we're here at the right time of year for camellias perhaps we're in for a treat then And this is your view. Weird that they built these follies, isn't it? What do you think they used them for? Somewhere to ride to in the day. Ice cream shop. <laughs> yeah. So one folly that we're looking for in particular is meant to be a gothic kind of castle. But it's deliberately half-built, it's like fallen down. Ah, it's supposed to be like that. 
Yeah. I think I saw a glimpse of it, an outline up on the hill. Oh, let's go find it. Come on then. All right. What's the book say now? Uh, it says continue through trees to reach a gate. Um, to your right are the impressive remains of a tower. That's it. Where's that then? Oh, there. Behind you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should we have a look? Come on then. Oh, that made me puff, but wow, look at that and the view to die for, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh. The ruin, a crumbling, ecclesiastical looking artificial ruined castle constructed in that genuine state in 1747 is located specially to take advantage of the spectacular views overlooking Drake's Island in Plymouth Sound. You all right? Yeah, fine. It's a bit high for you. It's a bit for me. I don't like heights. Don't like that. You're not going to look out the window then. Not really. That took you a while, didn't it? I hold on to something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit tumbly down, it's isn't it? A bit tumbly down. <laughs> wow. Do me up a Double view, isn't it? Yeah. Tugboats guiding that uh, barge out, aren't they? Drake Island. Oh, and Smeaton's Tower. It's quite impressive with these ancient builders how they actually managed to make something look like a ruin. I'm quite good at that as well. If I'm building, I can usually make something look like a ruin as well, so I must be quite impressive. What talent! But boom! The breakwater in Plymouth Sound. A breakwater? Yeah. I know about the breakwater. What do you know about I the breakwater? I read about water? it before I came up here. Built in 1812, at a cost I think then of about a million, which in today's money is worth about 98 million. Cool, blow yeah. me. Well, I guess it's designed to like slow the sea down as it enters Plymouth Sound and protect the anchorages, because this has always been a military base, hasn't it, from time immemorial? Yeah. Yeah, very important military base. We're still surrounded by camellias, aren't we? They seem to be everywhere. A stripy camellia. And it looks like it's trying to revert back to a red one. Look at that, on the same plant. I think we're just leaving Mount Edgecombe Estate, aren't we? Yeah, looks like it. And it? Um, in the distance, yeah. it's a glimpse, our first glimpse of King Sand Core Sand. Oh, it looks so pretty in the sunshine. What does our lovely book say then? Our lovely book tells us a number of seats provide a tremendous vantage point across Corsan Bay. Our book takes us straight out of the village again. Should we have a little explore of Corsan King Sand? Yeah, come on in. Come on. Pub? Pub. Can hear the sea. Ah, oh, that's the sea. Oh wow. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it is, oh. isn't it? The sun's just gone in, but so even these little so, little streets are so narrow. I know. Beautiful old cottages, aren't they? We've got the whole place to ourselves. Wow. Absolutely idyllic. A couple of 
probably is going a violent storm. This bit is swept away, leaving the building just hanging. So this stone here on the clock tower says, The clock and tower were erected by the parishioners of Maker and Rain to commemorate the coronation of King George V, June the 22nd, 1911, and are the property of the above parishes, God save the King. It's a halfway house inn, Sarah. Yeah. I wonder why it's called the Halfway House Inn. Because there's a river underneath the pub that denotes the old boundary between Cornwall and Devon. Okay. Ship a look. The old boundary. Cornwall? Yeah. Devon? Yes, yeah. indeed. Halfway point. And the boundary changed, what, a couple hundred years ago? 1840, something yeah, like that, wasn't it? Not that long ago, no. really, is it? No, Cornwall's Cornwall, isn't it? <laughs> Nice house as well. Georgian. Corsans Beach. Nobody there today. Middle of March. I'm sure in the middle of August. Yeah, different story. Must be a completely different story. That'd be beach. It's beautiful, isn't it? So this used to be an old pub with loads of history. The old ship in. The Old Ship Inn was one of Corsan's oldest pubs. After being empty for years, it was destroyed by fire in 2013. So the site is now owned by Community Trust and they're planning on uh, rebuilding the pub, adding a cafe and a heritage centre. So the lady we've just been speaking to said that it was arson and there was 11 fire crews here. This is fish, isn't it? I right. think made out of plastic. Of plastic it is, bottle lids. It's bottle lids. From the beach. It's very intricate, actually. Yeah, it is bottle lids. I've enjoyed our little wander around King Sand, Cool Sand. So we're going to head back and rejoin our walk now. Yep. So we're here at the end of Lower Row. The book says at the junction, which has nearly faded out from existence. We're going this way, yeah. We go up there. Past the community hall. Turn right up Earl's Drive. Steep, isn't it? Yeah. Gate leaning in time. Yeah, I deserve it after that climb. That was steep. Good old view from this gate, isn't it? It's fabulous, actually. So next, we take the road to Fort Pickleco. Heading up towards the church up there. Public footpath, Maker Church, half a mile, held to co together with some cable ties. <laughs> Good. Should we get strong winds up here. I love that you can see the church all the time, so you can't really go wrong. This is brilliant. Church. I think we're at the highest point now and the book does say Maker Church has brilliant views, is that right? It certainly has, I've just seen the view to the left. Oh wow. The view to the right is pretty impressive. Oh well. my goodness me. You can see the Tamar Bridge, the road and rail bridge. Just in front is Tor Point. The white ferries, you can see them going back and forth, there they are, to Plymouth. Car ferries they are. Plymouth on the right hand side. Okay, so the notice board confirms that the church is shut during the winter. Oi! My ear is lovely and warm. I want my hat back. Catch me. <laughs> back down the hill. Yeah. M. Coombe, one mile, Kremel Ferry, Got one it. and three quarters. Oi! My ears are cold. Follow the rope. Dropped down quite a bit of height, haven't we? Yeah. We're 
just enjoying this beautiful walk, this path beside the tributary to the Tamar. Don't know what that is on top of the hill. Are you perusing the book to see what this interesting fortification is? Yeah, it doesn't tell me. Oh, it's got a doorway and everything. It's got to be done. Isn't it? Feels it. Oh, we'll have to do some research when we get home, Sarah. I reckon that's your job. <laughs> Romping around the rain peninsula. <laughs> great fun today, isn't it? I know, but I'm, I'm getting hungry. Getting hungry. What for dinner? <laughs> so I wonder if this is Empercoom. Follow harbour wall to gate on opposite side of harbour. Okay, so we must actually be going over private property. Oh, see the wall. wow. That is a proper wall, isn't oh, it? Oh, let's go and have a look. Jump over. Jump over? Yeah. You've only done five and a half miles. Look at the blossom. Very pink, isn't it? Oh, look at that. My goodness me. That's impressive. That is old, isn't it? And look at the garden here with all the camellias yeah. and everything. Tranquil, isn't it? It's very peaceful. I can't believe there's a major city. Just over there. Just over there. And this is on the opposite side. Fabulous. So there is a little bit of history about this little quay. And I think it goes something along the lines of there's a quarry near here and they took all the stone from here to build the Eddystone Lighthouse. And here is the news. Read by me, Andrew, your anchor man. <laughs> Very good. Just so walk up the tarmac driveway for a few yards before bearing left along a grass track, which we think is here. Been and replaced. Empton House. Oh yeah. Driveway. So we're going to go up there. There is a path beside that wall, by the looks of things. What have you found? Free book. Free book. Yeah, it says, "Dear Finder, yeah. I'm a special book. I'm not forgotten, lost, or discarded." I was left here on purpose to find new readers on oh, www.bookcrossing.com. Please release me again so I can travel on. <gasps> oh, let's do it. Let's do oh, it. What a lovely, oh, lovely thing, isn't it? what's oh, it called? Lucky. It's called Lucky. 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 Oh, I love it. I love it. Isn't that brilliant. Yes. I love this. This is a really good idea. Wow. I'd love to visit that website now. Yeah. Okay, the light is now failing. But there it is. There's a monument to a pig. Amazing. A memorial to a pig? Yeah, a pet pig called Cupid. Really? It was on the Mount Edgecombe estate and they moved it. Was it a house train, do you think? I reckon it went everywhere with her. I can be with my pig. Yeah, I know, it's bonkers, isn't it? Back at Kremel. Wow, lovely, isn't it? Our walk today is taken from Classic Walks Cornwall. It's number 60, the last one in the book, Mount Edgecombe and Corsand Bay. Six miles today, a quick look at the map. We start up in Kremel, hug the coast all the way to King Sand, Corsand, and back over the headland, back to where we parked the car. Six miles. Brilliant! Yeah, it's been relatively easy as well. I've been surprised how easy going it was. It's just at one stretch coming out of King Sam when it was quite steep. A bit unfortunate that the book only takes you around the edge of King Sam. Yeah, we obviously had a bit of an explore and we'd recommend you do so as well because it's really beautiful down there. Yeah, so that, that might be a reason to mark it down. And also there wasn't any information about Maker Church. No, so the book did lack a little bit of information, but the book's quite old and the walk still works. It still works and everything is signed beautifully and I've really enjoyed this. So what would it's you score it? It's been a fantastic day today. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for those two reasons? Yeah, I think that's probably fair. Yeah, but come and do this walk, it's fantastic. Brilliant.